Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Monday, March 26. Now this energy, you know, the timing is fluid, and this will not resonate with everybody. Could have happened already, maybe happening today, tomorrow, you know. I decided to take the weekend off, so that doesn't happen ever, but I had some plans that came up, so I took them. This is for all signs, Monday, March 26. What do we need to know today? Seven of Cups, beware of false beginnings. There could be some confusion and illusion, okay? There's probably multiple multiple choices for you to choose from. Be careful, okay? Five of Wands, reversed. You know, there could be, you know, maybe you need to be patient before you make this decision. Don't jump into this. You know, because I feel like there, there could be some sort of, you know, falseness here. And somebody could be, you know, trying to lure you in with something that is completely an illusion. All right? So just, just beware. Nine of Wands release. Nine of, nine of, it is release. Nine of Wands reversed. It's a release. Okay? You may not even want to go down this road. All right, so whatever it is, be really careful. Okay, you have a lot of experience behind your back. Think about this. Reflect on your past experiences with, with whatever this, whatever comes up, okay? Remember to use what you've learned with this decision because I feel like you could be wooed in a wrong direction, all right? Because it just feels like there's some, some choice that is not actually valid. Somebody's clinging to the past. Maybe somebody is um, unable to move forward from their past, but they're telling you they are, okay? So, you know, just beware. You could be dealing, if this is in regards to a love relationship, and generally my, generally my readings are, with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, it looks pretty darn good that this is in regards to some sort of loving relationship. I feel like you could be be being told, you know, somebody is saying all the right things, and that, you know, those words are just words. It's not really actions. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has not released somebody from their past, you know, and I feel like you you really need to think twice about this decision, okay? I, for many of you, there is there is an offer of love, okay? Some of you, it could be valid. Some of you, it will not be, okay? There is a new offer of love here that could lead to some sort of um, partnership. Now, this could be at work or in love, but it feels as though this person could be somebody from your past that you were unable to let go of, Um <clears throat> You know, with the Nine of Wands up there reversed, it really appears to me that somebody is, maybe they're deciding to just give up on a situation. And I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, something is really heavy. Something is really, really heavy and burdensome. And you're being called to really be objective about this decision. Now, I don't know what the decision is, but it feels like somebody is giving up on a situation in regards to love that is heavy, burdensome, and probably very troublesome. 
okay? I think that there is some sort of also needing to speak up for yourself, needing to speak, needing to communicate. Communication is needed. Maybe somebody has realized that they were living in some sort of illusion and that's why they're clinging to the past and they've been patient and maybe now is the time to really speak up and to say something and to step outside of your comfort zone because living this It's almost like a lie. Living this lie is too burdensome. So yeah, it feels like there's there's some sort of partnership or union here where somebody's in love. Somebody's in love, but they've been denying it. They haven't been accepting the truth. They haven't been speaking about it. They haven't just been burying it. And now it's too heavy to bury any longer. You know, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like there's somebody has been clinging to the past, but they haven't been taking action. They've been waiting for the right time. They've been reluctant to speak up and to make a move, maybe deceiving themselves. But I think now that somebody may be deciding to actually step outside of their comfort, comfort zone and take some action and really speak up, say what they got to say. That's what it looks like to me in regards to love, because I think there is a lot of love here. There is. There's, there's love here. But I feel like somebody has been confused about this love. And it is somebody that you know. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, now it's not, it's no longer about pride, right? Somebody's pride has gotten in the way. This is what has happened here. Somebody's pride has gotten in the way and, and held them back from speaking up. This is what has happened here. I'm just going to let you sit with that for a minute while I let this ball baby out. Oops. So, yeah, I mean, it just looks like somebody may have made a wrong decision based on, you know... pride there's a lot of pride here I think there's pride and somebody is has come to the conclusion that they can't let go of this past okay because this is clinging to the past and they've, they've wanted to prove themselves for so long but I feel like now I just want to be happy because I'm insecure I'm unstable and I've waited long enough and it feels like now somebody has come to the conclusion that they're ready to step outside of the comfort zone and perhaps communicate. All right. It feels like somebody is coming up with a plan of how they are going to release this burden. And it's because of love. Okay. Because the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups are here. There is love here. Okay, and without this love, it's been really heavy. I think there's been a heaviness without this love. Many, for many of you, it's an X. Okay, because that Queen of Swords usually means an X, man or woman. Okay, so I feel like somebody has been really confused about a decision. They've been reluctant to take action. They've been reluctant to speak up, but all the while feeling insecure and unstable and wanting to prove themselves, wanting to prove their point, almost like punishment. I, I need to, you know, prove to you that this is not okay. And now they've probably come to this conclusion that that's not working out because they still can't let go of the past. Okay. And it's love. It is love. So I feel like there is a loving connection here where somebody may decide to release the animosity, to release the anger, and to release the need to be right. And now I want to be happy because I, I, got to, I have to release this heaviness that I have been carrying around. It's not serving me. You, most Many of you are dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. It doesn't have to be community sign. It could be sun, moon, rising, but Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also see a soulmate connection here, okay? Because we have the two of cups, 
and we have these two right here in the six of cups and the ace of cups i believe there's a soulmate connection here okay and i feel like it, it's undeniable and somebody is knows it and they may decide to open themselves up whereas they've probably been holding in their emotions yeah it's like you know what there, there's been self-deceit here i don't think that this is somebody deceiving you i think that some you have been deceiving yourself lying to yourself wanting to prove yourself because this is wanting to prove yourself and now it's time to remove the obstacles that have held you back yeah somebody has this is lies reversed as well somebody has been lying to themselves about a soulmate connection i think because of pride And it's burdensome. It's really heavy to carry that around, knowing the truth, but not, but reluctant to take action. Okay? There is reluctance to take action here. That's reluctance right there. Yeah, somebody, and they are, are unable to start a new beginning elsewhere. So somebody is unable to release somebody from their past. Because there's some sort of soulmate connection, and there's been some self-deceit, and, and pride has been in the way. And now there's no growth in any other direction. There's no new beginning, because you're holding on. Somebody is holding on to somebody from their past that they can't let go of because there's a soulmate connection. And I think there is, uh, there is love. This, there could be some sort of reconciliation because somebody speaks up. Yes, there could be a reconciliation. There could be a new beginning with somebody because somebody has learned something really big. A lesson has been learned here. Some sort of lesson has been learned. And it has, to, and it has been learned because wherever they were at, there was no growth. There was no excitement. There was no expansion. There was, there was no fertility. And, and now... You know, somebody, it, it, it's been no spark, okay? With anybody else, there's been no spark. And so now it's like I need to release my preconceived thoughts and look at this from a new perspective and realize what really happened here. This is no longer an illusion. I need to accept the truth of this matter and stop trying to prove myself because my heart knows what it wants. Somebody is absolutely clinging to the past and unable to move forward with anybody new. But during this time of contemplation, per se, whatever has been happening, you know, somebody has learned something really big. A lesson has been learned, okay? So I feel like today or tomorrow or whatever, I feel like somebody is going to remove some obstacles in which they have been lying to themselves about and perhaps they are going to speak up on their behalf because there is love with somebody you know and this can lead to success okay because of that world card this is victory in success a lesson has been learned. And I think that somebody is coming up, you know, they're, they're calculating their plan with this Queen of Swords. They're coming up with how they are going to do this. How are they going to communicate, you know, the best way. And it's kind of like, it's very calculating. Somebody is calculating their next step. Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what is in your life. Instead of complaining about what you don't have, 
If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. I don't know how that figures in, but I'm sure it does. Many of you have learned a lesson, and it could be in regards to being grateful for what you had that was lost. And sometimes it takes that loss for people to realize what they had and that's why there's a lesson that has been learned here so you know there could be some sort of communication coming in from somebody that you know is this has decided to look at things from a new perspective and let pride be out of the way you know I'm, I'm gonna I want to be happy you know that's what I see. It's like, I just, I need to be happy and bring security and stability back to my life. So I feel like for many of you that are watching this, it's a, this is ego versus truth. So there could be a reconciliation or a new love, okay? It's up to you. Talk to you later.